RioLink provides different software to access cameras from different devices, phones, computers, or monitors. In this video, we'll be talking to you about the RioLink client, the software used for both Macs and Windows systems. And check out what you can do with it. Let's get into it. RioLink client is kind of a big screen version of the RioLink app. It's portable, and with a laptop, you can access your cameras anytime from anywhere, even on the go. You can also log in to your account on desktops at your home, workplace, anywhere. It's also easy to use, just as on the app. The first thing you need to do when you launch the client is to add your cameras. You have three different ways to add and set them up. You can use the UID number, IP address, or scan the devices in LAN. That last one is the one we recommend. If your cameras are connected to the same network as your PC, they'll just be listed on the screen, and then you can just follow the instructions. When you start using the cameras on the client, you'll see the two main features, Live View and Playback. You can tap the device name on the left panel to enter Live View. You can also switch between different devices. But if you have a large number of cameras and need a more convenient way to quickly check them all, try the multi-channel Live View. The RioLink client allows splitting the Live View window into up to 36 parts, so you can view all the live streams with just one glance. For different network conditions, it usually provides two or three Live View modes. You need to right-click on the image and switch to the one you need. When you want to play back the previous recordings, you'll find it's also handy to use. It has two filters to filter out unnecessary clips and give you what you're looking for. One is time. You can choose the date and a specific point in time. The other is detection type. You can further locate it according to what's triggered in the detection, person, vehicle, pets, or any motion. If you want to save a clip locally, you can choose the resolution and download it to your computer. RioLink Client also allows changing settings on it. It has five parts, camera, surveillance, network, storage, and system. The first part I'll talk about is the camera. You can find all the basic settings for your camera here. One of the most crucial settings is detection and alarm. So let's check it out first. Go to the detection page. You can set the motion detection sensitivity here. It actually works by changing the detection distance. If you drag the slider to the right end, the camera will detect possible intruders at the farthest end within the field of view. Then there is a schedule for sensitivity. So you can have different camera sensitivity at different times. This helps reduce false alarms. Another thing you can do to get rid of false alarms is by setting the detection zone. Also on this page, you need to draw an area on the image. It can be the driveway or anywhere false alarms often occur and you want them to be ignored. In this part, you can also set how and what the camera displays on the screen. There is a day and night setting. You can also set the live view to color, black and white, or shift automatically with the ambient light. Another useful setting is the privacy mask. So you can black out areas you don't want to display in the live view and recordings. If you want to change the image resolution, go to Stream. You can also change the Stream Mode and Frame Rate here. If your camera has a spotlight, you can choose to turn it on and off, change its brightness, and set how to trigger it by the detection or by the schedule. You are also able to turn off the IR LEDs, but we don't recommend that. Many of you wonder where to find the UID number in the client. It's right on the info page. There you can also find other camera information. This second part is surveillance, also very essential. You can customize the schedule for recording and push notifications, like excluding the times when the recordings and alerts are not necessary. You can set how they are triggered by person, vehicle, or motion. There are also email settings. While you're at work, you can just check your emails to see if something's happening. And yes, you can also set a schedule for it, like making the camera only send emails during your work time. Some of you may need an FTP server to save your recordings. Just type in the information of your FTP server,
and similarly set a schedule. The third part we'll walk you through is networking. You can change the Wi-Fi connection here. You can also find the basic information, including the camera IP addresses. There are also some advanced settings like port number, DDNS, and NTP. Next is the storage part, where you can check your camera's SD card status and format if you need. Lastly, in the system part, you can manage your accounts. Change the client date and time or restore or reboot your device. What's worth mentioning about the RioLink client is that in the client settings, you can enable an alarm beep to make your PC beep when the detection occurs, and you can have the local recording. All the recordings will save directly to your computer. So this was just a quick overview of what you can do via the RioLink client on your PC. We'll get into more things you're interested in later on. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. See you in the next video.